Coach, in general, what's important to you when it comes to recruiting? To find quality young men that uh, want to play unselfish football, want to get an education, want to be a part of a team. Uh, what's the most common feedback that you get from recruits, their parents, and coaches on how Oklahoma State is perceived? It's interesting. Once they come on our campus, uh, they always say they didn't know it was that nice here. Uh, the facilities, the community, uh, the people here. There's so many different areas that touch a young man's life. And they always comment on how nice it is in Stillwater and how it is to be at Oklahoma State. Uh, specifically for this year's signing class, what's, what's your thoughts on the group? But, you know, I think it's a terrific class. Um, it's a big one. We, we lost 28 seniors, so give or take a few, we bring in 28 players. Uh, it's very well-rounded. Uh, we were able to get a number of guys on offense and the number of guys on defense that we feel like fit our total numbers with our 85 scholarships. Can you please describe how much of a team effort recruiting is and how much time and effort is put in by you and your staff during the recruiting process? Well, a lot of time and effort, 18 months up to two years, uh, and it has to be a team concept by position, by geographical area, each coach, uh, the head coach, the coordinator. Uh, I have to do a good job in the school with the coaches, the counselors, uh, the teachers. I have to do a good job in the home with the family. Uh, and then when they get here, we have 48 hours uh, to make sure that they know how special Oklahoma State really is and the direction we're going with our football team. Uh, the pattern of Oklahoma State recruiting in the South continued this year. What does it tell you about the state of the program that uh, highly rated program players from South Carolina, from Georgia, from Louisiana would pass up opportunities closer to home to come to Stillwater? People know about Oklahoma State now from coast to coast. And we have ties. Glenn Spencer's in Atlanta. Coach Henderson's in New Orleans. Uh, we're able to attract players from across the country. Uh, we certainly want to cover Oklahoma, do a great job in the Kansas, and a little bit of Arkansas, uh, and we have a number of players from Texas. But if we have a tie somewhere else in the country, uh, which would be Atlanta, South Carolina, or Louisiana, we'll take advantage of that. And it wor well, worked out well for us this recruiting season. Uh, with Ofa Hautau and Billy Leveni last year, and now Palele and Junior this year, uh, there's a trend of Polynesian players that are taking notice of OSU. Uh, why do you think that's the case? Well, we've started a, a process here. We have young men that have come in here. Uh, they believe in us, uh, and uh, they're great people. Uh, we have so much fun with them. I think diversity is really important on our football team. Uh, I've always said that college football breaks down barriers uh, in where we all come from. And uh, the Polynesian players that we have here uh, have united with our team. And it attracts players from, uh, from other parts in the country that have a similar background. Uh, but I'm really proud of that, uh, and I think it's a great future for Oklahoma State. What was your biggest priority when building this year's class, and did you accomplish what it was that you set out to accomplish? We did, and as I mentioned earlier, it's a big class. When you have 28 players, uh, you need to be balanced on offense and defense. And we have a certain number that we want to hit, and we were able to get really close to that. Uh, so I'm happy with the class this year. Uh, coaches said, have said that sometimes they get a, it's the biggest feeling they have after a win is relief. It's not joy or elation. Um, does that concept kind of apply on signing day as well? Sure. Anytime that you, you complete a quality class and you get those names on those uh, NLIs and you're able to secure them coming to Oklahoma State, there's a lot of relief. Uh, recruiting is the lifeblood of, of our football program and bringing quality people in. And we know what's out there, but um, there's some give and take. And at times you don't get the ones that you want, uh, but we certainly like the recruiting class we have. And there is a sense of relief once you know you got them all signed up. And how has how has recruiting changed since you took over? I know it changes year to year, but from from 2005, we'll use that as a bench point from the start of your being a head coach. How has the recruiting changed from then to now? Not so many official visits with players that haven't decided where they're going to go to college. Uh, most of the recruiting is finished by August 1, so a lot of unofficial visits in the spring. We have to be further ahead. Evaluation takes place on juniors. Uh, we can miss more players that way because you don't get to see as many in their senior season with as many scholarships available as you would want to uh, based on players committing early. So the recruiting calendar has stayed the same, but the way that it's uh, handled by college coaches is much more advanced. Yeah, I, I think this is a terrific recruiting class and uh, there's a number of people, our recruiting office, academic, strength and conditioning, um, equipment room, video, uh, 
uh, administration. There's a number of people that have contributed to a terrific class. Uh, we are very fortunate that we have Oklahoma State people that allowed us to use their airplanes to get from different uh, places that uh, we wouldn't be able to get to. Uh, there were times as a head coach I was able to get in and see as many as six or seven players in one day. Uh, and if we didn't have uh, uh, airplanes, I'd be, it'd be lucky for me to see three. And uh, it takes a group effort, and uh, it gets better and better at Oklahoma State. We have a tremendous product to sell. We have beautiful facilities. We're a winning program. We've won 50 games in five years. Our players believe in themselves. We have a great team concept. The excitement here is, is more than it ever has been before, but it takes everybody. It, it takes a large group of people. And I say this, it takes about 200 people. We have to have the 133 players, all of our staff, the staffs that I mentioned earlier, everybody has to be pulling in the same direction. And then at the end of the day, the people in the community. Uh, we have players that are out eating um, meals in the community, they're around campus, uh, the students see them, people from around town see them, they get excited. So then the young men that visit our campus and their families get a feel about Oklahoma State. And as I said earlier, um, there's just a feeling here that people really like. Uh, and that's part of recruiting. So um, I want to say thanks to everybody for helping to put together a terrific class of 2014.